because I'm a complete, total boof for doing it. And welcome back to Building On Board Campers and welcome to my new little studio, which we've just created. Um, if you could see the other side of the camera and surrounding areas, oh my God. Anyway, I didn't realize it took so much to set up on these little studios. This is now gonna be hopefully the place where we do endings, we do beginnings of videos and some vlogs, which brings me back to today's vlog. I've got to come clean about something <clears throat> because I never told anybody this um, on YouTube or anything. I had a little bit of an accident. A little bit of an accident, a little while ago. So obviously videos have been sort of a little bit, not what I would say, my usual quality. And not too much on the build side of things. <clears throat> what happened was, I was working on the new bus, my bus. The big black thing and like an idiot and I will say idiot because I'm a complete total boof for doing it I went up the ladder to put the solar wires down through the gland and that I was on my own nobody holding the ladder and the ladder kind of wobbled a little bit and I sort of lost my balance and yeah, I fell off it. Stupid move going up there on my own in the first place. Uh, especially because it wasn't a steady, mm, I wasn't, basically it wasn't simply just going up and down ladder. I was leaning across, I was doing stupid things. So yeah, and as I've come off the ladder, the only thing that broke the fall between the top of the ladder and the concrete floor was my ribs hooked itself onto the bench, one of the workbenches. So literally dug underneath my ribs. And unfortunately, yeah, uh, I had a broken rib and a fractured one as well. So unfortunately, yeah, I've been quite sort of poorly with it. And it was very embarrassing to say the least. And I don't think I've ever been so annoyed and upset with myself in my whole life because I'm quite protective when I'm sort of doing things like that. So anyway, yeah, and it took a good six to eight weeks, even longer, I'm still sort of getting twinges now. So broken ribs, oh, it's not pleasant. When you break them at the front, which is where most people do, apparently it's not as painful. Um, it became so painful, or was pain, that painful, that when I couldn't sleep on my back, I like to sleep on my side, and because your body's doing that, the ribs were flexing, the only way I could sleep was sitting up. Now I don't do well sleep, don't do well, sitting up and sleeping. So, I had to buy this silly, got this silly frame and use that. And I probably had the worst night's sleep of my life for weeks and weeks and weeks. So my apologies if there's not been too much build work stuff going on, things like that. I've not been very capable of doing it, not even lifting a bag. Um, but you know, it's part of my life, part of built not born, part of every day what's going on, so. I thought I'd let you know. And I thought it was a pretty good way to start off the first video from this studio. Uh, like I said, very embarrassing. Um, so best advice I could give anybody on this video is, if you're going up a ladder, make sure somebody's at the bottom holding it, at least. Or you've got someone else there because I was totally on my own. And when I come off the ladder, I laid there and I felt like, well, I'd be, I, I winded myself. So when I finally sort of got my breath back and I was laying there, I was there for a good five minutes at least before I got my breath back. The first thing I'd done was to look around me, make sure there was no blood. And there was no blood, but I could hardly move. And when I finally moved, I was still on my own. I thought, oh, get up onto my knees. I'd hurt my knee, I'd hurt my shoulder. So yeah, I'd done pretty, messed myself up pretty badly. But yeah, yeah, it was more embarrassment of myself and I don't do well as a sick person. Anybody that knows me knows I don't do sick very well. 
Um, I've literally got to be literally laying on my back, broken legs, broken arms before I'd stop doing anything. But my advice, don't ever go up a ladder without anybody around. It's not safe. And as I said, I was most annoyed that I'd done it. Anyway, on to the next subject of the vlog for today. And on the June the 4th and the 5th of this year is the International Camperman Show and Overland, oh, the Overland Show. I am the Displays Vehicle Manager and I am looking for all sorts of vehicles. So if you're watching this video and you want to come to the show and you have a vehicle dis display, classic car, hot rod, camper van, VW, you name it. If it's a bit special and you want to show it, drop me an email, let me know about it and we start talking about it. I need pictures, stuff like that. I want to see what you want to display. So yeah, that's my job for this year. And there's two shows this year. You've got one in September and say one in June. And it's the bank holiday weekend, so it's going to be a long weekend. And by the sounds of it, it's going to be a very exciting show. I will be putting out a video in the next few weeks because um, I'm meeting up with Damo, um, the face man of the International Camp Brand Show. And we will be doing a video together as a little promo video for the show, um, for YouTube, so we can put it on Facebook or that. So if you know anybody or you want to go to the show, hit the link in the description below. And if you want to display your vehicle, send me an email. And I am looking for a little bit of help. Um, we're looking for volunteers to be marshals for the first sort of day or so uh, when it comes to parking all the vehicles that they come in the show. So if you fancy that as well, let me know. Right, also going back to the studio. The reason we got the studio as well is so we can do some product reviews of any items that we use on the vans. If there's something I'm using I think it's a little bit special, we'll bring it to this little studio and we'll do a review on it. We'll tell you all about it. So if there's anything particularly you think you'd like us to review, um, or any sort of anything you've seen on our channel, you want us to go through it with you on video, let me know. And I definitely know it won't be a Jackery, and it won't, I know it won't be a, one of these power, any type of power bank, because I don't have them. <laughs> I've not been lucky enough to be given one yet. Anyway, but if there's anybody out there who wants me to review a product for them, let me know. I'm quite happy to. I think really that's all I've got time for. It's a very short vlog, I know. But remember, take anything from this, don't go up any ladders unless you're supervised or you've got somebody holding it. And the other thing is, if you're doing any kind of work using tools, use safety equipment, you will see me sometimes not using safety equipment because trying to operate the camera and everything, but don't do as I do. I do these, so you, I do these things so you don't have to. So yeah, I fall off ladders so you don't have to. Nah, I'm gonna be doing that again in a hurry. So, it's been lovely doing this little vlog in here today for you. And what I might do is take the camera off the tripod in a second, give you a quick spin round because you can see this here, which looks kind of okay. I'm still not happy with it, but it was thrown together really quickly. And I'll give you a spin round of the rest of it. Um, why not? You're in this with me. So I'm gonna do that. But before I do that, if you're enjoying what I do, please let me know in the comments below because I do this for you. Um, please hit the subscribe button. It doesn't cost a thing, but it helps my channel. Um, hit the like button, just let me know what you think. But be nice, be nice. There's no need to be horrible. It takes too much energy in this world to be horrible. I'm a great believer of be nice to someone and you get nice back. Karma is a yes. So, and I think what goes around comes around. So, I'm afraid that's all I've got time for today. I'm gonna to show you around this, but before I do, I'm gonna say, I hope you're staying well. As always, staying safe. And most of all, staying very, very happy. Bye for now.
So behind the scenes in any studio, it's a mess.